to everyone. Here today I would be discussing the marketing career and opportunities that you can have once you qualify your post graduation in marketing specialization. The objective over here is to understand career opportunities in marketing to make career decisions. Now we all know marketing is like jazz. If it is done poorly, it is annoying background now, noise. But if it is done well, it is recognized as an art. Marketing is very, very important. Important in the sense we, we consider that it is like the heart of the organization. As long as the heart keeps on pumping blood, the body functions, all organ functions. So marketing is a revenue generator. If we talk of conventionally how marketing has been described or defined by American Marketing Organized Association, it says it is the process of planning and executing the conception, pricing, promotion and distribution of ideas, goods and services, create exchanges that satisfy individual and organizational objective. But over a period of time, this conventional idea has taken certain small changes or twist. We rather say it's a progress of marketing and activities of marketing have changed and grown through the years. Marketing was first only thought of distributing products and services. Then it grew to include selling, promotion and a variety of other business activities. Rather, today we say marketing is something beyond distribution of goods and services. It is a way of creating customer delight. Now, if you talk of the marketing process, it still remains the same. You have the customer at the center and you have its marketing mixes, the product, price, place and promotion. But when you identify types of business that are careers in marketing, Careers include all activities required to plan, develop, promote and distribute goods and services to consumers. Almost, you can say, all businesses having marketing careers. In whichever type of business you go, you will always have marketing career because whether you go to manufacturing, retail, wholesale, transportation services, community or social services, education, everywhere marketing is required. The great thing about marketing is it is a function that is needed in every company, in every industry. So career potential is actually unlimited. The well-recognized traits and skills needed for marketing as a profession or as a career is honesty and trustworthiness, being knowledgeable about sales and product, enthusiastic, technically savvy, reliable, self-motivated and goal-oriented, communication skills because we always believe communication is at the center of all marketing activities. Now let us see what you generally observe typically in a marketing structure. You have the vice president at the top of marketing, then you may have marketing research manager, promotion manager, product manager, and national sales manager. Under each, you have many other sub-branches. You can, if you use the promotion manager, under that promotion manager, you will have advertising manager, sales promotion manager, public relation manager. Under product manager, you have brand manager or the product brand manager or market analyst. Similarly, under national sales manager, you have the regional sales manager, then you have the district sales manager, you have the area sales manager, you have the territory manager. There are layers at which it keeps on going down. So now I'll be taking you through the various functions that are there in each of these areas. So as an individual, you can join the market research function. So here you have to monitor competitors, identify market trend, develop customer profile, monitor market share, evaluate brand image, analyze audience characteristic, evaluate impact of advertising and promotion, and evaluate distribution channels. All these things you need to do as market research function. Now, when it comes down to marketing, it begins from this market research. Basically, you have to identify the need. Who is my customer segment? What do they want? And when you are able to identify that, and gradually, are you able to understand 
who all are there in this market space what is their profile what are they producing in terms of goods or services what will you be adding as an organization and you start monitoring the market share the growth rate your image what do you do to enhance and build them and so on and so forth if you talk of the market research department the market research there is a market research manager there can be manager or senior analyst field service director and independent consultant these are three different areas again in market research under the senior manager or senior analyst you have analyst or junior or associate analyst as i take you through to the type of opening and opportunities that are there there i will be giving you that what do they do and how are students from vbs or uh, as we call vs business school they have been placed with the organizations with this similar profile you have the field director or the field service director who takes care of the interview interviewers as well as the coders and you can have independent consultants now associate analyst it's an entry level design is proofread questionnaires compile mathematical data as an associate analyst this is what you need to do market research analysts as a market research analyst works the market research analyst works with the manager to gather information for the project now here now you come down to the exclusive that you have taken as a client you work independently by project after the experience when you become competent of doing all these things that is identifying the need the company's profile the competitors profile the market growth rate the market share what needs to be done product development market development what all is required then gradually you work independently by project after all these experience have been attained so they present data and recommendations to market research manager manager or senior market research analyst supervises work of junior analyst coordinates input from other company sources for a project presents the conclusion now his job is little more ahead he has to now take input and you had he has to draw conclusion that what has been the observation and then he goes back to the key customer contact for market research firm and informs what had been identified through the analysis field service director now as we say that you can even be a field service director as a field service director they hire field personnel to gather data that is interviewers manages interview process manages the tabulation of data that is the coders the one who brings in data then there are system through excel through various software they will fill in those data and they code them okay as an independent consultant not an employee of the firm they are the industry expert i'm sure you people have heard of kpmg you have heard of mckinsey you have heard of ernst and young they are all consulting firms so you can be an independent consultant but all these things happen over a long tenure of time of your expertise that you become a consultant to the industry so you have worked with the market you have understood the entire gamut and then you become an independent consultant this is another opportunity over your career graph so not an employee they are the industry expert perform some or all market research functions submits proposal gives a timeline and the compensation that he needs for that particular work as a project market research manager he is a liaison between market research department and other company departments because as a company now you must have heard of ac nelson what is nelson's job nelson is a market research company so if i consider the role of this market research manager over there he will be coordinating with the department for whom he has taken up the assignment the company's department and with his own department to understand what is the type of work that has been done so he liaison between these two the staff department expense he prepares the expense and the project budgeting that what would be the project's budget what would be the total expense of this particular project and oversees the entire project till it's from the beginning 
till its completion it depends upon it could be an interview based a market analysis based or it could be secondary data based whatever is the type he does those and he provides the entire solution to the company for whom they are working skill required for market research now you students have to understand one thing that whenever you are going for any sort of work there are certain specific skills that are required the skills required are analytical curiosity when we call analytical curiosity it means that you should have very keen eye on understanding the changes why these changes what is the trend speaking how is the trend line going how was it in the last quarter or i would say um, uh, last year during this particular time what had been the other factors which had happened at that point of time and which is happening in the current scenario so he should be able to associate this logics technical orientation mathematics statistics computers he should be good enough in terms of doing this so that he can actually churn out the entire data product or industry knowledge because why a product or an industry knowledge because it is only through this product and industry knowledge that you will be able to understand that how well this particular product is doing and what is the industry standard or the competitors profile and for this particular or this similar type of product so you need to have simultaneously written and oral communication but please note one thing uh, for this a sales experience is very very helpful now we all say that uh, there is there are certain sort of inhibitions why sale sales is the uh, i would say the blood main line which pulls the entire thing and marketing is the way in which it facilitates so that sales can be superfluous and it should be able to generate and bring in revenue and resources for the organization now when we say opportunities in market research larger retail oriented companies independent research firms hunger for information availability of information increases demand for more accurate information job growth faster than average competition is tough must be very technically qualified now as in our vs business school we have a concept of providing or rather uh, exposing all students to have this capability of understanding the analytical area through it could be through uh, excel or it could be through python or r depending upon individual's capability of pick up but today as we say it is very very essential that you should at least be very conversant in excel so that volume of data that you get you should be able to churn that out and make some meaning out of it data data speaks a lot data speaks everything so the student should be competent enough to understand that how do i decipher this particular data now next when we go down to the next level advertising or agency or in house now this could be an in house advertising as a department so opportunity is there also or it could be an exclusively advertising organization only so it could be in house it could be exceptionally a uh, firm who is doing for many other organization so you have the functions are account services research creative and media so in each area there is some sort of opening and some sort of specification requires when we call account services there could be account executive traffic manager assistant account executive now what are their role account executive is a liaison between client and agency responsible for client need assessment and communication to agency support staff that is the creative and media so this account executive acts as a connect between the requirement that the client want to say the way the client wants to uh, position the product the way the client want to communicate about their product and like that they provide information to the creative and the media that in order to bring that out most effectively what needs to be done what should be the content what should be the creative what should be the graphic all these things and simultaneously monitors all activity in the ad campaign 
when we call the traffic manager, that is also another profile, he coordinates project between all four areas of activity. We have already seen the various core functions. So he coordinates between all these four areas and communicate timetables to organization as well as monitors the progress. The objective of this traffic manager is to become a coordinator in between to see what is the uh, situation currently, where is the gap, how do they link, how well will it be able to frame within the timetable of the organization so that the attained progress that they have expected is well attained. Assistant account executive, assist account executive with clients, training position for account executives. Now here they are the junior people who starts learning how do you need to go about understanding the clients and then going back to the account executive to inform that this is the client expectation this is what the client has got to say then how well will you be able to deliver what is to be done it could be an in-house also when an organization does their own for their own uh, promotion for their own positioning for their own camping it could be for an organization separate organization where the organization works for many as you have so many uh, um, ad companies they also have a similar type of profile who work for all other firms now research department agency functions as a market research department focuses on effective advertising for product positioning utilizes primary and secondary data. That means the type of uh, content that comes, the type of graphics that comes. With all these things, it tries to bring out what would be the most effective way in which this product can be positioned. Then come the creative department. The art director, here you have the artists, copywriters, and the production manager. These are also the individual profile that a marketing career can get. Now, when you come down to creative department, this synthesizes information from research account executives and clients, develops activity, them, themes, and layouts. So then they create the theme, they create the layout, and how it would be, how the flow would be, what would what would be the sequence, what would be the background, what would be the music, all these things contains the largest number of jobs in advertisement. So college degree, preferably in art, graphic design, desktop publishing, all these things are some essentially required. So a marketing student, apart from doing their marketing specialization, where they go to get to understand the communication and the communication mixes, they can simultaneously and parallelly do these additional courses so that you become an expert in terms of going as a creative department. Portfolios of writing samples and ideas and knowledge of advertising, advertising trends and media. Media department planners and manager. Now they develop media strategy, analyzes media research information, collaborates with account services and customer to budget media mix and negotiates contracts with media outlets to execute plans. Sales promotion managers. Specialized specialists who analyze market and develop promotional incentives, contests, coupons, rebates, etc. Promotion can be directed to retailer or consumer. Positions typically exist in large consumer oriented companies, marketing highly competitive product lines. Position fluctuates depending upon company strategy for particular product. So this is another profile. Public relations manager. Position can be in-house or with public relations firm. So there are in-house organization also who have their own public relation manager. There are many firm who are PR firms only, whose job is only to take care of public relations and they work for different companies. So they are professionals who manage information and news of the company with mass media. And today, you know how active this mass media or the various social medias are, whether it is an Insta or it is LinkedIn. Or so uh, any organization would always like to be very, very updated with these places or through Twitter that how well they would be able to create that image, which will bring the maximum leverage and benefit to the organization. They have to ensure what is the mission how was it built? How to maintain and improve the public image of the firm? Specialization can occur in consumer affairs, government relations, investors relation, employee relation, 
community relation, international relation, and media relations. These are the different type of specialization that can come. Tools for marketing public relations. P says publications. It could be brochure, annual reports. E says events, trade shows, special events. N says news, stories about the company, people, product, whatever. Simultaneously, C, community involvement activities. Contributions that are made through the various time, uh, various monies that are spent by the organizations. I says identity media, whether it is stationary or it is bus cards, whatever it will be the type. L says lobbying, influencing the various bodies or the legislatures. S says social responsibilities, that is a reputation for corporate social responsibility that needs to be created how the organization image has to be maintained. Now we come down to the next profile. Here, product or brand management functions. Their job is to evaluate product testing and recommend further action. Plan production and packaging, provide information and recommendation on product pricing, develop sales and profitability, forecast and marketing budget analyze market research statistics and recommend promotional budget identify channels of distributions collaborate with market research and advertising agencies for product uh, position coordinate production and promotion of product lead product management team so this product management has varied functions and uh, this product or brand management is not a beginning opportunity it's not a beginner's uh, role but yes this is a career opportunity that over a period of time once you get that expertise you are able to go over there now this product expert is again in for four areas it could be manufacturing market communication sales research and development now each of these areas would be requiring product expertise that what is this particular exclusivity of this product because it could be a product it could be a service it could be attribute based it could be certain characteristics or certain quality based so the product expert should be able to provide this information to each of this department so that department gets in-depth information about that particular product or the service in order to design develop and create their strategy to make sales superfluous Skills required for product or brand management is postgraduate degree in management. You need to have sales experience. So this is the inhibition student has to come up that I have to sell. Please remember one thing, student, when you say sales, sales does not mean going door to door and ringing bell and selling product. A management student does not do that. But management students also need to sell because they also need to understand why, you know, because in order to develop something for the customer, you first need to go close to the customer, understand the customer psychology, understand the customer's perception, understand their objections, their expectation. And then only you will be in a very, very apt position to design and develop something which will be able to influence the person who are there in the forefront they should be analytical budgetary expertise should be there interpersonal team building qualities should be there oral presentation and written communication skill is highly required now opportunities of product brand management it, we all know it's a very competitive um, position and uh, these are not that you have many because for one product, you cannot have two, three brand manager, product manager. You will have only one manager. So you need to be very conversant. You need to have prior knowledge and experience in order to come up to that position. Because product or brand manager becomes the sole responsible for the performance and ROI or the return on investment for that particular brand. It is the product or the brand manager who designs and develops what needs to be done, which activity will be most active, uh, effective, how to understand where things are doing well, where it is not doing that well, then how to build that gap, what are their competing brands doing, what more do you need to do? So for these things, of opportunities are less, fewer in number, and it requires your expertise. That means you have to work for certain tenure in order to come down to this particular or come up to this particular position. Next, we come down to sales. The uh, most often heard of name 
moment people say marketing, immediately people feel that going and selling. Marketing is much, much beyond selling. Selling is one portion of that marketing. And because of that marketing, sales is made superfluous. Marketing helps sale to happen better. So it could be industrial, it could be wholesale, it could be retail. So you can be in B2B sales, you can be in B2C sales. If it is B2C, you come down to this retail. It's the B2C. When you are in wholesale, you are in B2B. Industrial is also uh, partly in B2B. So it all depends upon where this particular sales opportunity is. Now, when we come up this nature of sales work, please note, sales begins with the goal, planning and making sales happen. You have to understand that. How do I prospect my customer? How do I identify what is best in my product? I identify the USP of my product or the service. And identify that USP, I proceed ahead to understand how do I prospect those qualities to my customer? How do I go and talk to my client who is in need of that particular product? So that you are able to maintain a contact with those qualities, with the current customers, anticipating what is going to be the need in future making them understand and realize that these are certain things that are required. So one has to be very strong in terms of communication, in terms of planning, in terms of presenting, reviewing the sales order, scheduling the delivery date, handling all sorts of details that are required by the customer, understanding day-to-day -day requirement, up to date, update in terms of the report and the data handling all sorts of negotiation as well as the complaints so that you are able to reduce any dissonance that is there with the customer, monitoring the competition and learning all the new informations that are required to be included in the marketing strategies. You have to evaluate the price trend and advising the customers. So these are the processes you need to prospect. You have to qualify them. You have to contact them, you have to make presentation to them, you have to handle their objections, you have to close the sale and post sale there has to be a follow up so that you understand what more if everything that you wanted worked in the same way or there is something lacking which once again needs to be provided from your end. At the same time it acts as a customer service understanding and enhancing customer loyalty. Company sales representatives, you can have territory or account responsibilities. Now here, you can, as we said that it could be uh, wholesale, it could be industrial sale, it could be individual retail sales. So you have to understand that what are the various type of technical things, the informations, all these things that need to be provided. And then based on that, company say representatives are given the idea how it need to be done, how it need to be provided, what way the promotions and all those things will be done. And simultaneously, compensation can be, these people are not only put in salary, it is always target oriented. So apart from salary, there are commission, there are bonuses, there are retention bonuses, there are uh, certain target um, attainment bonuses so many other things are there so it's a good entry-level position now if you have observed my previous opportunities that i told you in various categories you must have understood or you must have noticed that in most of the cases they say you need to have certain sales experience why is it said because once you understand the customer, then only can you become proficient in terms of developing or designing something which will be able to influence the customer's mind and impress them in terms of coming close and buying those products or the services. You can be company sales manager. So some functions as sales representative plus monitor or collect customer preferences and trends, forecast sales and inventory requirement, recruit, hire and train sales rep representatives, establish distribution channel. So you could be a sales manager who does not go to sale, but he supervises how things are going, where things are working well, 
where what is going wrong what more needs to be done whether the inventory movement is proper or not whether the forecast that has been given is accurate or not what type of training in terms of product development in terms of um, sales pitch that needs to be done by the representative and simultaneously you have to establish distribution channel distribution channel means the way the product has to move out as soon as the order comes from the order to the delivery what would be the modality or the procedure through which this distribution would take place skills required for sales one should be self motivated strong work ethic analytical creative imaginative problem solver good listener and good communicator friendly aggressive but not pushy personality grasp technical concepts quickly now here in a very 2 minutes i would share my sales experience i myself have worked in sales and i was with max new york life as a sales manager and uh, selling insurance is one of the toughest because it's not a product it's a service and most of the time you have to say one thing everything happens after you die now who wants to hear that i you will die so every time we use suppose i die what will happen to my family so you have to convince a customer which is toughest because if anybody if we, i say if you die he becomes so repulsive he says this man has come to tell me dying why should i buy anything from this person so you have to be very technically correct you have to be very aggressive but you should not be pushy so you should have a very strong personality soothing but at the same time quite aggressive to make your position felt and one must be a very good listener why we say this because it says first you have to empty out what is there in the mind of the customer it is only then the customer will be ready to listen to you, what you have got to say otherwise his mind is so full of information and another thing is every time the customer is the king so customer would always like to say i know you should always agree you are absolutely correct but there is little more beyond what you know sir you are correct but this is additional to what you know so this is how you should be aggressive but not pushy in terms of your personality you have careers in retailing as we say you go to b2c now when you go to b2c also there also you have you are role in terms of buyer as well as seller when it is buyers it is merchandise manager buyers assistant buyers that means in terms of who buys from where vendor management going down taking those products what amount from where to what understanding and identifying the brands that would be there identifying the various type of assortment that you want to have under the brand and all those things similarly you have the seller that is the store manager department manager and the sales personnel merchandise buying is select purchase and promotes merchandise for store negotiate with supplier which just now i told you supervise other buyers or sales management research as customer taste changing trend and a balance of quality and affordability entry level training 2 to 5 years skills required is usually it does not require a specific ac academic background but yeah to these days so in the organized retail format they would always prefer a student who is from a management with marketing as their specialization high energy and outgoing responsibility awareness of sound business practices knowledge of industry can be important in apparel a flair for fashion in hardware a do it yourself quality extended travel a possibility because you have to go on identifying uh, vendors for, from different locations retail sales customer comes to you a certain the wants and needs of customers you all must be familiar with uh, stores like chroma stores like vijay sales each one of us have worked into it so what do you, that is what you see over there they come close to you they try to make you familiar they show you various product so that you are able to understand everything that you want to see and go on uh, upgrading you providing all the information in terms of uh, technical uh, techniques that are associated with the product or any other specifics that you are looking for so learn and execute effective selling techniques know the importance of customer service develop a positive attitude towards work that is what you need to do 
skills for retail sales, a people oriented and outgoing personality, self control and diplomacy, reliable and responsive, comfortable with commission compensation, communicate, be able to explain benefits. Store management, yeah, it's a big position. Position usually result from sales success. Demonstrated ability to effectively supervise staff, work well with customers, make good and quick decision, balancing the welfare of store and customers, budgeting and general business skills. Upward mobility may require frequent relocation also. Why jobs in marketing provide career potential? Increasingly intense domestic and global competition eh, that you can observe marketing candidate must be aware of trends in consumer lifestyle, values and technology. Best position candidates, some experience, a high level of creativity, strong communication skills, new media familiarity, information technology knowledge, interactive marketing skills. So marketing skills are useful in any career because they involve understanding business as well as relating and communicating effectively with others. There are basic skills that employee expect from all levels of employees. So when you are in marketing, it will be providing and marketing, as we said, whether it is manufacturing, whether it is a product or it is a service, every organization would be requiring marketing people. So marketing has unlimited opportunities. I would be able to take you through some of the uh, companies oh, in which, oh, who, which has come to our institute and who has picked up students in whichever profile. General Mills, I do not know whether you are familiar with the names, but you know Pillsbury Otta. So it is a product of General Mills. So they take as consumer and market intelligence as a profile, as well as the sales capabilities. Both these profiles they have taken our student and they come year after year. You have GEP India, sourcing analyst. You have Berger Paint as sales officer. InfoAge Limited, senior corporate sales. Ugam Solution, business analyst. Tech Mahindra, digital marketing. FCB Ulka, Indigo Communications. Now, as we said, this is the company as I'm talking of FCB Ulka. This is an exclusive advertising and media firm. So, as individual company will have their media firm. Similarly, you can have exclusive firms who are for advertising and media. So there you can have social media market for social media marketing. They have picked up student. Oppo, Vivo, distribution channel sales. Godrej and Boys as business to business sales. IDV, IDFC First Bank as relationship manager, retail business and collections. So I have just, for example, put it 10 companies which frequently come to our campus and picks up students as this various profile and if you see this profile these are the type of profile which you have heard even while i was providing you information of the very career opportunity that is there in marketing so these are some of the opportunities which are there these all these profiles are quite entry level profile but as with the career graph you can go up to vice president marketing so now judge hear from everyone and be the best judge for yourself so that you make an excellent career for yourself. Wish you all Thank the best. You, okay. Thank you, everyone.